Right, today we're making just a quick, easy soup. It's to use up the wild garlic flowers. Now, I've made wild garlic butter with the leaves, and that's truly wonderful. Um, I've also put some of the garlic butter into the bread I'm making to go with this. But anyway, so the heads are too peppery and too spicy to use in a salad. I know a lot of people do, but honestly, they're going to blow your socks off. So... They make a lovely parsnip soup. So everything here is from the garden today. Apart from the oil. So we've got some nice rapeseed oil. Got three slices of ginger. Yes, you can grow that in Scotland. Couple of onions. And then we're going to put in around about eight or nine of the wild garlic flowers very spicy and the stems it's all good stuff so put a load of those in and we're just going to gently cook that out for about five minutes until we we get rid of all the nasty onion raw bits so, so also from the garden again seven leaves of sage you can make this with Asian spices and that, but I wanted the garlic to really shine through. So we're just going to use a tiny bit of ginger and the fresh sage to flavour it. So five minutes. Right, there we go, that's your five minutes. So now we're going to put in a couple of sticks of celery. So it's only little sticks, a lot of flowers in there. Don't, um, don't throw the leaves away. You can use them for cooking as well. Also, my wife started to grow on the celery. So when you get that bit at the bottom like that, stick it in water, let it sprout, and it grows into a celery again. So regrowing is the way it go. So we've got maybe half a pound or so of parsnips straight from the garden, picked less than five minutes ago. And we're just going to sweat all that off for a little bit, letting it soften just slightly. Okay, well, there's a lovely smell of parsnip coming up now, that real lovely sweetness to it. You'll notice that it's not a normal garlic smell you're getting, it's slightly perfumed, just a lot nicer. So, into that, we're going to put, I suppose, a couple of stock cubes. I'm using the big tub of paste but that's vegetable stock going in now giving that a stir we pinch of salt just to get the sugars flowing now we're adding about a pint and a half of cold water we're going to bring that to the boil and cook the bejesus out of it when everything's soft we're going to blitz it Okay, you can see that that's all cooked out now. Everything's nice and soft. So I'm just going to put some fresh black pepper in there. A pinch more sea salt. Because I've just tasted it, it did need that. And I'm going to blitz it till it's nice and smooth. Okay, so I've blitzed it and I've passed it to get rid of any of the little, you know, the sinewy seedy hair bits. Um, so we're just going to serve it now. This is a beautiful, beautiful, delicate soup. You can make it with lots of spices and that sort of thing, but this lets the gentle flavour of the garlic shine through, especially with the fresh, fresh um, parsnip. So we're just going to put a wee tiny dollop of natural yoghurt in there, and then just dress it. With our lovely garlic flour. I'll just quickly show you the bread that I've made with this because I'm going to do another video of the bread because I think it goes beautifully. So this is just the garlic butter we made. I've put into the bread dough so it's it's like 65% moisture with the garlic butter in it. I've also stuffed it with Emmental cheese, topped it with rapeseed oil and uh, parmesan. 
so it's like a tear and share it's going to go beautifully with this wonderful soup so look it's really, it sounds complex it's not it's all delicious give it a try